All right, guys, so we already have everything set up. We're good to go. But now we need to tell the network where to go to get uh, HDHCP addresses. Now, if you remember correctly that we set up that uh, second address on the clear OS, and I'll go ahead and pull that up here. It might actually kick me out that an idle for a while, but let's see. Network HDHCP search. And remember we set up that extra address right here and there you go my Xbox 360 actually got the uh, logged in here so there's the DACP server 36 so what you're going to do is that uh, 192.168.36.1 is your DACP server what you're going to do in your web browser is type in this 192.168 dot 11.1 that is the actual address to my router so what you can see when you log into your router you're going to have this ability to set up a DHCP forwarder uh, you should see something in your router settings this is something about DHCP um, once you go there change it to DHCP forwarder it should be set to DHCP server by default when you have it set to forwarder, you're going to forward it to your DHCP server address. So on our network, it was a 36. So what you simply do is change it to 36.1, scroll down there, and then apply the settings. And once you do that, anytime anything gets put on the network, it's going to go straight to the router, because your router, more than likely, it's a wireless device. So the wireless device is going to hit the router. The router is going to say, hey, I don't serve out DHCP. This guy over here does, and it's going to push it straight to your clear OS. Once it's pushed to your clear OS, you're set. You're good to go. Everything then will flow through the clear OS, through the content filter, out the router, to your modem, and onto the internet. And you're done. It's pretty simple. Now, I do admit that not all routers are created the same, so what you're going to have to do is do a quick Google search for your particular router and DHCP forwarder, and just figure out how to do it. Or you can just call the support line for whoever the router is that you purchased, and they'll be able to tell you how to set up the forwarder. Just know that you need to change it to the IP address of the DHCP server that we set up on ClearOS. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. The next video is just going to be basic troubleshooting. And then after that, you're good to go.